Today we're comparing tailor-made fairy woods, uh, specifically the best from the past 15 years. We've got five models and we've got Jackie here to hit some shots. We'll see what Trackman tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing in Minnetonka. Tailor-made fairy woods today, Jackie. We've got five from the past 15 years that have been the most popular, the most successful, and uh, really the most positive feedback from golfers out there. So um, give me what you think, first of all, kind of overall, tailor-made fairy woods. I know you've played some before. Um, you know, what do you think we're gonna see here based on the five miles we have? Well, I think, you know, the when the RBZ came out and even the burner, yeah, uh, those were hot models. I mean, if you had one of those, you were the cool kid on the block. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the new Sim 2 Max. Uh, but we even got the V Steel, uh, which will be yeah fun a fun test compared to the other models uh, from TaylorMade. So mm -hmm. I think when it comes to TaylorMade, everyone knows that you know the Sim and the Sim 2. They're really hot. Uh, you get a lot of ball speed from them. So I, I'm expecting that. So it'll be interesting to see the ball mm -hmm. speed comparisons and the distance comparisons with the other older models and if TaylorMade uh, has kept up with their models in the past 15 years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, we know TaylorMade when, when you think of Metal Woods, you think of TaylorMade first, I think. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do anyway. So, um, I mean, I'm curious because V-Steel, technology that they introduced in, I think it was the mid 2000s maybe, yep. um, with those fairy woods, they've brought it back. That technology is on the bottom now on the sole of Sim and Sim 2. And so it's obviously refined quite a bit, but that same uh, you know premise is still there. So uh, interesting with TaylorMade, they've, this, all this kind of wraps up together here, um, but I'm very curious to see what happens here. We got Burner, so we got V-Steel, Burner, RBZ, M2, and then Sim 2 Max. So. Um, we've kind of almost what every five years or so yep. we've kind of been there. So uh, this will be this will be really fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's hit the shots. Uh, so Jackie, we've got 15 degree three woods. So I mean that's a pretty standard lock for all three woods. But and then shaft wise, just stock regulars. Yep. Your yeah, swing speed is slower. Wow. So, Jackie, the V Steel. Uh, thoughts on that feel and look? Don't like it. <laughs> it just it's it's heavy. It's not very soft at all. It's like hard. It's like hitting a rock every time. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it is an older club. This is mid two thousand. This yeah. might be out, actually outside of fifteen years ago. I mean, it yeah. might be longer than that. Um, so, I mean, that's not surprising. They didn't like it. So. I mean, you totaled it 201.7 on average, 178 carry. Uh, all right, so we have kind of the base here. Yep. Um, next, we got burner. Left. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Is better. Nice. Those were three pretty consistent shots, I thought. Wow, look at that one. Dead straight. Yeah. Taylor made burner. That one. So we've got, I think he pulled that first one a yep. little left, but um, he had, this is the best shot of the day, I think. Straightest. Um, I'm gonna look at numbers here. Carry distance was pretty similar. Total distance a little bit shorter. Interesting. Um, what do you think about that one? The, the burner. Yeah, um, it kind of felt dead, like the club face itself, not okay. as, not very hot. Like, I don't know. It just kind of felt like as I hit it, it was, little, it was more forgiving than the V seal. Okay. But like, it just felt like there wasn't a lot of pop to it. Um, one thing I noticed is that, you know, it's just, it's spinning a lot. Like mm -hmm. the three woods are spinning a lot more than we're probably going to see as we get up in technology, but 
Um, yeah, especially for a, a you know a tendency to miss left, yeah. right? Because usually that takes off spin. But I mean, your farthest left shot, the one you pulled, actually was the highest spinning. Yeah. So interesting. Uh, that's the one to watch. We'll watch the spin here as we move forward into some newer clubs. We got RBZ next, which white cl uh, white crown. That'll be a yes. different look for you. A little bit different. The sound is very different. Yeah, way better. It's a very loud, well, much louder sound. Also, that ball went way farther. Yeah. A lot more like pop to it here already. That ball speed just jumped up, I think, five miles an hour already. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think that's fine, but. Yeah. Off the toe a little bit, but. All right. So the RBZ, look at that, gain some distance, 100%. Yeah, consistency and distance, definitely a mm -hmm. plus. Didn't have the, all the greatest swings on that one, but right. uh, overall, definitely more forgiving, more pop. Uh, so you also, so it's worth noting, did that club feel a little bit lighter with the stock shaft there or no? Mm. Asking because you did swing, you know, a couple miles an hour faster. Um, what you did also generate almost five miles an hour more ball speed, which which resulted in basically 10 more yards of carry distance and 11 or 12 yards of total distance. So I think there was certainly more explosiveness there. I thought the sound was a lot louder than yeah. the previous two. There was a, kind of a crashing noise almost, like a brass piercing uh, impact sound there. Yeah, I would say that it's not necessarily the shaft that felt lighter. I actually thought the um burner felt lighter but mm -hmm. the head feels like i can feel the head more a little okay. bit so it seems more similar to what i'm currently playing so that might be it more yeah. familiar feel. and then of course got to ask about the white club head um are you are you glad that that trend has stopped or or did you do you like that a little bit i, I don't mind it and i'd hit a white club head okay. if, if it performed well i suppose yeah yeah so i, I just a lot of people are yeah more picky about the appearance of the club. But um, all right, M2 next here. Little That's back to a more muted sound. Little, yeah, miss hit there off the heel. Overcompensate. What do you mean? Ta, look at that. Yeah, really little spin there. That was hit well. Yeah, that one was good. That was hit really well. Yeah. That's the farthest one of the day, I think. For sure. Felt good. Ball speed, 127. <sighs> so right. the M2, you had kind of, it was funny there, you almost had, you had basically two miss hits right away. Yeah. And then that last one you just smoked and was, I think, far and away the yeah. longest shot of the day. So M2, also your fastest club speed again, so that's kind of going up here. So. Um, could be more warmed up, could be the shaft weight. Again, we can't really match these up just because we had a couple of bonded housels in there and can't really adjust them out um, with this test. But uh, almost the fastest ball speed right behind RBZ. And then we see total distance pretty similar. It's just the carry is a little bit behind because you kind of had that, that off the toe shot that was a little bit less. But the spin down to 26.72 on average. Again, the deviation though a little bit wide because of those of miss hits in there. Yeah. Um, I would say when it comes to swing speed on older versus newer, a lot of it's just the weight of the head. Mm -hmm. And the weight of the head with newer technology is so much lighter compared to 15 years ago. Yeah. Like it just, it, w the technology and the like materials that yeah, we I mean, used there's... way back then mm -hmm. is just, it was heavier. Right. The um, physics applied now is just it's it's optimized for swing speed, yeah. so that doesn't surprise me that you're swinging faster with the newer clubs yep. as we go along here. Uh, but just something to, to that I've that I've noticed, and and then you know talk about swing weighting and things like that. That's been optimized over the years too. So again, it's not going to be a perfect test in terms right. of swing weight. Like that's impossible to replicate with over you know a 15 year span of clubs. But um, okay, Sim 2 Max now, the newest model or newest series, I guess, from TaylorMade. Yep. That's a good ball. Take that. 
That's your longest carry of the day. Yeah. Miss hit. Little bit of a miss, but, but I think it's gonna work. Yep. Oh yeah. A little left, maybe. Yeah. But. Wow. Sim two did okay in this uh, test here. <laughs> so that's I think the the farthest uh, oval up there, and the smallest in terms of I guess you could argue the V steel, but. Sim 2, I'm going to just organize all this information here. So we've got by club speed, M2, Sim 2 max, RBZ. I mean, the newer the club, in theory, you're swinging a little bit faster. That's kind of how the trend went. Mm -hmm. Ball speed, Sim 2 max is the winner. 126.1 um, on average there. And then Smash Factor 2, we had, actually, you were hitting the ball pretty well all across the board here. Yeah. V-Steel was up there, but Sim 2 max and RBZ were up there. Uh, spin rate, newer clubs. I think that was your theory, right? It was kind of the newer things would spin a little bit lower. Yep. You saw that here, Sim 2 Max and, R and M2 down in the lowest range. Burner up top, V Steel up top. Uh, carry distance now, Sim 2 Max. I mean, you're gaining 15 yards here. Yeah. From, you know, over the, over the years here. And then almost 20, well, 20, yeah, yeah, 20 yards of distance total. Without really losing height, I mean, you lost, I guess, compared to burner five feet, but otherwise you're gaining height with the newest model. I mean, what else is there to take away here, Jack? Yeah, I, I mean, clearly well, TaylorMade stuff has improved, and that wasn't a surprise. I mean, we're talking about 15 years of equipment. I right? think, you know, when you're talking about I mean, right now this is my gamer. I play this, mm -hmm. and so confidence level wise, could be a factor in this. But <laughs> as, as well, like, there's a reason why Sim and Sim Two have been so good, yeah. and a lot of it is, you're 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 gonna get like out of everything that's out there, the Sim, you tend to get the most ball speed. Now consistency is always going to be a factor mm -hmm. between different models and different manufacturers, but the Sim and the Sim 2 are very, yeah. very good. And, you know, when you're talking about tailor-made from previous years, you know, they've always been pretty solid, but I think when they came out with the Sim, it was a different ball game, and there's a reason why. And you're just gaining, I mean, almost, what, 10 yards just from them 2 from 2016? Yeah. So, like... You know, compared to other brands, there's not that much of a jump from five years. But with TaylorMade, it's been a they've huge jump. They've certainly, you know, upped the game. Yeah. And TaylorMade always kind of said, I mean, they're always fantastic when it comes yeah. to Metal Woods. There's not a doubt about that. Um, it's just, I think it's always cool when we do these kind of look backs and we see the, how the technology's changed. And uh, we always see a, a pretty solid difference from, obviously, the, you know, 15 years ago to present day. Then you see those incremental increases over the years, right? Yep. Between the newest stuff. And so, like, I mean, if we go total distance, I think it actually matched up in order pretty darn close. Yep. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's something to it where the, you know, the budget, go the budget golfer that is trying to save money uh, will see a video like this and say, okay, well, is spending $500 on a new driver, $300 on a new three wood, is that worth, you know, the, 10, 15 yards I'm gonna get. And some golfers might say no, um, but clearly there's a big difference in the technology. It helps you out, it helps you hit the ball straighter, helps you hit the ball farther, and it helps you uh, improve your consistency as well. Yeah, I would say for those golfers that are looking to upgrade and, and what are the reasons to upgrade, you know, when you're talking about uh, $150 versus $300, it's a lot, you know? It, when you think about it, right? So it's like, what is that difference? I think it depends on the golfer. Um, you know, for me, am I gonna see like this huge dispersion, uh, as far as dispersion, a difference between models? Probably not. I'm gonna hit it pretty straight, because Yeah, I, you're a pretty skilled player. Yeah. Uh -huh. and I think the, the, the golfer, you know, that maybe isn't as low a handicap right. as you, someone that's in the middle or maybe high, that struggles with the fairy wood, because let's face it, fairy woods off the turf are, a, a difficult challenge for a lot of amateurs, but that's where you see these manufacturers throwing in all the technology to uh, in, improve the sweet spot area 
and stabilize the club head at impact when you do miss a center. So you see that more with the Sim 2 Max. You see that with the M2 even over, yep. you know, the clubs like V Steel Burner, RBZ. 100%. I, I would say, yeah, the newer technology for yeah. golfers that are mid to higher handicap is probably going to see uh, more of a benefit mm -hmm. than even the single digit or scratch oh, yeah. golfers. Yeah. Just because you're going to see that difference in technology and the forgiveness that it brings. Uh, and the results are going to be a little bit more out there. So mm -hmm, For sure. Well, golfers, maybe you're in that range um, where you can maybe see a big benefit from a new fairy wood or a three wood. Uh, you can stop in a second swing and look at any of these five options. Um, you can either in our store, go online to secondswing.com. Or you can schedule a fitting with someone like Jackie, um, and we can set you up with a tour van fitting. You can get all the access to the track van here, uh, in-depth information about your swing and the numbers you're producing, and then we can help you out optimize your fairy wood in your bag. So, Jackie, thank you for joining today, uh, hitting all the shots, giving the information for us. And golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. A uh, bunch more comparisons like this coming your way.